It was raining all night when I got the case. I never thought it could be true. An amusement park where people brawl all the time. But then, Danny walked in and said, Paula, the tense kiver is okay. I didn't understand a word he said, but I saw the evidence, and I couldn't deny it. I knew what I had to do. Come on, Danny, let's close this case. Welcome to Broad Talk. We are going to the Star Park Hub, where we can get directions to all the other parts of the park. Which brings us to our next Brawl Pass season, the mystery at the hub. RT is the newest chromatic brawler. It's a surveillance robot helping to actually solve the mystery at the hub. RT has eyes and ears on everything that happens at Star Park, like literally everything. He can access all of the Star Park's hidden cameras, so just in case you are ever there, just smile, because you're probably being filmed. RT keeps data on every brawler out there, so if you need any secret brawler intel, check with RT. If RT's main attack hits the target, it will give it a mark. When marked, the target will get more damage from any attack going their way. Once the target gets damaged, the mark gets removed. It's also possible to mark multiple targets simultaneously, so it's a good idea to hit brawlers on the other lanes to help your team out. For its super, RT splits in two so its legs stay whatever the super was used, then you control its upper body. RT's attack then change to a circle area around it, and every time RT's upper body attacks, the lower half will do the same. So you can control two zones at the same time. RT marks targets in both forms, and when you use the super again, RT will return to its assembled mode and heal itself. RT becomes some sort of dark wizard with the Crimson RT skin. And then when you use the super, it gets a bit spookier because of the tentacles and stuff. RT also gets a 29 gem skin, Patrol RT, that gives it some police sirens. Now you can make sure everyone at Star Park follows the law. Along with the mystery at the hub comes the license to brawl skins. Let's start with the villains. El Mayordomo Primo, because the battler is always guilty, and he's available at the first tier of the Brawl Pass. Bull gets an evil cat and turns into Alley Cat Bull. He seems to be the big boss of this operation. And the good ones trying to solve the mystery. Piper uses a fancy dress and a high-tech umbrella for her Mariposa Piper skin. It's beautiful and it's the Power Lake skin. Detective Grey gets a bit more color and a proper finger gun. He also has a color variation for this skin. We also have another group of skins. It's the Ayakashi clan, inspired by traditional Japanese masks. We have Kitsune Lola with a fox mask, a fox gun, but the classic charming Lola, Oni Otis, street artist by day, evil spirit by night, and Dynamax explosions get a big one magical with the Tengu Mike skin. And for skins without a group, Bell Nani for Easter, she gets wings, she gets pink. It's a cute overload. Carpet Rider Carl. He has been exploring some other kinds of vehicles with this one and Janet finally becomes a pop star with the pop star Janet skin. The Supercell Meg skin, Spirit Neck Frank, is finally here. Shout out to Winky XSQ. And we didn't forget about this. Tanuki Jessie and Summer Jessie are getting their remodel. Don't worry, we'll still remodel her other skins later. 
and Bunny Penny and Dark Bunny Penny are also getting a new model. So now they will match Penny's current design. We know you want to show off all of the things you've collected throughout the years. And now you finally can at the beginning of each match. Now, whenever a match begins, you'll see the new battle start screen. Now everyone will see your skin, your player profile picture, a ping, your fame, your mastery level, and a title. But we'll get back to that later. You can customize most of them and decide if you want to customize it per brawler or show the same options every match. This will also help in Showdown because now you can take a quick glimpse at all the brawlers in the match. Some of those items will also show up on your profile page and you can also customize them. Your previous info is now here. Who lives in a Doris from under the pier? SpongeBob SquarePants? No, it's Willow, the second brother of this update. Willow is a mythic brother and part of a new trio. She's the guardian of the Tunnel of Love, which is in the swamp area next to Mortis's mortuary. Willow manipulates people with the things they love. She throws her lantern at her targets, and they work similarly to Barley's attack, except that when they hit their target, they deliver poison damage over time. Things get interesting with her super. She throws one of her tadpoles into her target's mind, taking control over the enemy brawler for a period of time. You can use normal attacks, but you can't use their super or gadgets. To escape Willow's mind control, you can wait until the effect ends, defeat Willow while she is controlling someone, or attack the brawler who is under control. If the controlled brawler gets low health, they can free themselves. When Willow controls a brawler, she fully heals them and the controlled brawler can't be defeated. So use it wisely because it can backfire. Willow will be out in early April with her 29 gen skin, Axel Willow. And remember that once she's out, you can start unlocking her right away on the Star Road. Master is here and we'll be replacing the dusty old experience system. You probably heard about the concept of mastery in other games, right? Here's how it works in Brawl. Every brawler has a mastery track. There, you can collect coins, powerpoints, credits, unique cosmetics, and sometimes chroma credits. We understand that you've been asking for more coins. So if we have 66 brawlers times 1,750 coins equals a lot. Making progress is pretty simple. Just collect mastery points by winning matches with a specific brawler. In this system, you can never lose progress, so eventually everyone will get to the highest tier. The number of mastery points you get is directly proportional to how many trophies you have with the brawler you're using or your power league or club league rank. The higher your trophy tier or rank, the more mastery points you get. The mastery system is designed to take into account that the more trophies you have, the harder your games will be. You will also probably have longer matchmaking times. So since there's more at play, you will also earn more points per victory. It's quite easy to progress in mastery, but it's not fast. It should take around 48 hours to complete a mastery track for one single brawler. There's also a cap of how many mastery points you can collect on a single day. But don't worry, to reach that cap, you have to play an unhealthy amount of brawl. So probably it's also a good reminder to take a break if you reach the cap. When you complete your mastery track, you will get a new item called Title. Titles go under your name on the new Battle Star screen. So if you master Mortis, you get the Creature of the Night title. And if you master Lola, you get the Drama Queen title, and so on. And once you unlock a title, you can use it with any brawler. You can make progress on mastering Power League, Club League, and Trophy matches. And you cannot progress on Map Maker maps, friendly matches, and challenges. Master goes live as soon as the update drops. Basket Brawl and Duos are now permanent. They share the same game slot, so this slot will be changing daily between the two game modes. We also have a bunch of new maps for every game mode. Look for the hashtag AllyCatBull giveaway on social media for a chance to win the skin for free. And you might have seen it throughout the video already, but Indestructible Walls are back. And on Easter, we'll have a new showdown game mode where you can hunt for eggs and get rewards for each one you collect. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know in the comments which brother you want to master first. That's definitely Piper for me. <laughs> See you in April.
Now everyone will see your skin. <laughs> <laughs> 1,700 coins. Ah, I'll, <laughs> I can't talk and write something else. <laughs> Arti gives data on every brawler, 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 brawler. Where we can hunt for eggs on the maps. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> <get> three words. <laughs> for each, for each. <laughs> The voices in my head. This is not normal. Did it it was raining all night when I got the... 